Hello friends, today we are going to see how to load the person contact details using HDL file. So here you can see one sample template for contact.dat file. So here we have, we have picked up only the required fields which required to load the data. So here you can see contact, then contact name and contact relationship. These three objects consist this contact.dat file. So let's start. So first is the merge for the metadata, then object name, we'll give the object name as the contact, then enter the source keys. As we know, we have our source system owner is the XX test, as we have already seen this in uh, earlier videos. Then source system ID for this contact record, so which is the XX test underscore per CNT2. Then enter the effective start date for this particular contact record. So start date should I have entered as 1st of September 2019 and enter the end date which is the time end date, end time date. Then enter the person number for this contact. So person number is nothing but the person number for this contact record. So we are entering xx test underscore cnt1 and last for last attribute is the start date. So enter the start date which is equal to the effective start date. So now we will enter the details for the contact name record. So metadata for this is the merge then object name is the contact name and enter the source keys like source system owner and source system id for this contact name record then enter the person id source system id from the contact record which is the xx test underscore percnt2 in source system id from the contact record so whatever the source system ID given in the contact record, we are just putting here. Then enter the effective start date. So effective start date is nothing but 1st of September 2019. And enter the effective end date, which is the end time. Then enter the legislation code. As the, we are entering these details for the US legislation, so enter the legislation code as the US. Then enter the name type. Name type is the global one. And enter the first name, then middle name, last name, and title. As here I am entering first name as Adam, then middle name is Null, then last name as Test, and the title is Mr. So likewise, as per the, your requirement, you can enter the details for first name, middle name, last name and the title. And then we are going to enter the details for the contact relationship. So metadata is the merge, then object name which is the contact relationship and enter the source keys as source system owner is xx test and source system id for this contact relationship is xx test underscore c r e l underscore c n t 2 then enter the effective start date and end date as seen above which is the first of september 2019 and end date is end of time Then enter the, now we are going to enter the person id, source system id, so which is nothing but as as we have enter, already entered the same for the in contact name, so same we are copying it from the contact name. Now we are going to see related person id, source system id. So related person id is nothing but for which uh, employee you want to load this contact. So system uh, enter the source system id for that contact suppose we are loading an xyz contact so make sure that you have to enter the source system id for this particular employee here in related person id source system id then enter the 
type contact type which is the emergency then we are in mentioning beneficiary flag as null then dependent flag as null and entering the emergency contact flag as y as this is the emergency record so entering the emergency flag y and last is bond holder flag is null so now we have enter all the details for this particular file so now we are going to save this file as contact.det in local machine so once it is saved make it zip file so we are zipping it give the appropriate name as per your convenience once the zip has been done then open the application and open the data exchange in my client group so once data exchange is open then open the import and load click on the import and load to open the import details click on the import file to import that zip file so we are importing that zip file click on the submit it will submit the our zip file and you can see the data sets in the statuses so here you can see the import status load status then in if any error messages or percentage of import success then total lines number of failed lines then load success rate then total objects here now after the refresh you can see contact zip file is loading so if you can see the import status is in progress and load status is in locked because this file is not imported successfully so import status is in progress so click on the refresh you can see as we have three lines in the file so to, to, you can see the in total number of lines you can find the three records or three lines so now after the refresh you can see the import success successfully so you can see in import success column you can see the hundred percent result so it means our records or file is imported successfully so now the loading loading is in progress so after some time click on the refresh to check that particular file is loaded or not here you can see our data has been successfully loaded in loaded load success column you can find the number of percentage is 100 so it means our file has been successfully loaded click on the refresh to get green tick in load status so now we, we will verify that our record is successfully loaded or not so we'll open the person management from my client groups open the per employee for which we have added the contact details so as here you can see we have added the person contact details for xx test 1 and we have passed the source system owner source system id for this in related person id source system id attribute in the file so we'll open this person now click on the task open the person from person and employment section so here you can see our contact details has been loaded successfully the first name is the Adam you can see Adam last name is the test and the title is mister country is legislation code as we pass the legislation code as US so country should be United States and then contact type is emergency 
so as we pass the contact type as emergency you can see the emergency contact type then you can see the effective start date which is the 1st September 2019 so you can see the effective start date is the same so in this way our contact details has been successfully loaded into the system likewise you can load multiple contact details using the HDLs.